Hello, my name is Albert Mitchell. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems in the Industrial Networking Group. And we just saw a short video on the needs of more power and more connectivity and more bandwidth for those kinds of use cases. And so we're here to introduce products to address that specifically. So this is our newest member of the IE3300 Catalyst Rugged family. This is the 8T2X, where you can see it's got uh, lots of lots of ports and we're showing an expansion module here. So we have 24 gigabit ports with the new base system that we're introducing. So lots of things are gonna be able to connect as you want those more devices, your LiDAR, things like that. As there are more bandwidth that's coming around, we will also now with the 210 gig uplinks, you'll be able to carry lots of more connectivity into your Metro ring if you're trying to do a municipality or a connected city. Or if you're just trying to get more devices in and you're you know, one gigabit or two gigabit is not enough and you just need more bandwidth. So this is the this is the product, again, it's an IE3300 series product. So we just talked about more ports. Now let's talk about more power. One of the other things we're hearing from customers is we need to support these high capacity PTZ cameras, point, tilt, zoom, easy for me to say. Um, they require a lot of PoE and also the newest access points from Cisco that are supporting Wi-Fi 6 or the AC2. So they're also pulling sometimes more than 30 watts in some capacity. So we really are trying to provide for them. So for that, we've to introduce and support those use cases, we've got this new product here. Uh, this is another IE3300 Catalyst series that we're introducing. So it's a 3300, supports expansion modules. It's got the two times 10 gig here. This is the 8U2X. And the significant thing about this one, so far it's more ports, it's got more PoE. So all these, uh, these eight ports here are PoE capable, UPoE capable rather, 60 watts per port. Uh, the base system that you see supports up to 240 watts of PoE budget by itself. And to address the uh, access points that are now doing two and a half gigabit link connectivity, we've got the M gig expansion module. This is the 4M module. So it'll do 100 megabits to 2.5 gigabits of connectivity. So all those Wave 2, Wi-Fi 6 access points that you have out there can be connected. And the thing about this is now you can make your connectivity, you get 2.5 gig over your existing Cat 5 or Cat 6 cabling that you have. So you don't have to recable your infrastructure to get expanded or enhanced bandwidth connectivity. And now we're here with both of the new products together. So with the IE3300 series is an expandable product line. And so these products are going to be just like that. They're going to accept all the expansion modules that we have for the existing 3300. So if you need eight ports of fiber or if you need more copper, you can get that 16 or eight ports expansion modules. And like the other IE3300 members, these are designed for industrial deployments. So if you're in a, sitting in a cabinet in Phoenix, it's going to work. If you're outside in Calgary during the winter, it's going to work. They're really designed that way. So they're fanless and they pack quite a lot of power in a really small space. We are always hearing from customers that smaller is better. And so we really keep the size down as much as possible. These products are also running uh, iOS XE, the new operating system. They're a catalyst. So all of your operational tools, management procedures that you're using for the existing catalyst products are gonna work on these as well. So if you're using DNAC, DNAC supports these products in terms of general management at a DNAC essentials level, you'll get software image management, inventory, topology, PNP, all the basic stuff. Uh, if you're doing the software defined access or SDA, so these will also work with your intent based networking security policies. So they will be supported as an extended node in your SDA allowing you to build macro segmentation policies. And then we're also um, added some DRAM into these two by 10 gig modules. So the 10 gig uplink modules have more DRAM. And so they'll also now support IOX and hosting applications. Primarily we're looking at the CyberVision sensor will be hosted on these products. So you can do more edge compute and more security at the edge. So if you're gonna connect up a whole bunch of devices, now you can actually you do the security policies through the CyberVision sensor or any other compute infrastructure that you would like to have running on the edge. So we're really happy and proud of these new products and they're 
really going to fit a lot of needs. All right, let's start talking about some use cases. So what you see behind me represents a metropolitan scene where we see a lot of 10 gig coming around. And this is an IE3300 in a traffic cabinet on the side of a road of this intersection here. And typically what we see connected here are going to be these high definition IP cameras connected in. You can have up to four per intersection. Now this IE3300 with its 10 gig fiber uplinks is part of a larger metro ring, which you can see sort of spread out. And you may have 30 or 40 of these cabinets around your metro area with all of this IP camera and any other services that you're running all back hauled up to the, your command center, your control center, where you're monitoring traffic conditions there. So that's a lot of bandwidth that you have to carry. And with LIDAR coming soon, so for you know, pedestrian safety, that's really bandwidth intensive, which is really gonna drive the need for 10 gig infrastructure you know, in your industrialized uh, metro deployment such as this. And one more use case when we talk to customers where we see a big need is something like when you get into a manufacturing facility, industrial automation, warehousing, distribution centers, where they've got a lot of automated wireless controlled unmanned vehicles moving parts around. These need constant connectivity. So if we're gonna come up with like Wi-Fi 6 or AC2 access points, they need um, you know, this 2.5 gigabit connectivity as well as you know, more than 30 watts, which is a UPoE uh, type of interface to power them. And then the 10 gig uplinks to carry all that. So if you're gonna have multiple access points at 2.5 gig connected to your 3300, you need 10 gig uplinks for that. So this is another big one that we're seeing as the, connect, the wireless connectivity is growing. That's also an infrastructure investment that you have to make in your uh, wired network.